Hi guys and welcome to Creatures Pictures. Today I'm coming back with a new pick a card reading because I feel the calling, okay? I couldn't hold myself anymore. I know I said I would finish other projects before I go back to doing pick a cards, but it's just, I see signs everywhere that tells me that you guys need me, you need the answers. I'm gonna try to really modify because I've been watching a lot of those pick a cards during the summertime for myself and it really inspired me to do better so i really hope you like this new style and i hope you enjoy the reading and it resonates if it does please let me know in the comments don't forget to follow me on instagram at deluxe creature especially watch my stories because i will be posting polls on what topic of a pick a card video you want to see next so if you want to vote for that please follow me on instagram a deluxe creature. Let's get to it. Today the theme is gonna be what are they hiding? <laughs> Today the theme is gonna be what are they hiding from you? Um, your person of interest? Are they hiding something from you? And if so, what it is? <laughs> We're gonna get all the tea, okay? So stay tuned and pick again with your intuition, not with your eyes. Really try to see deep inside of you if one of them is calling you is calling your name not because it's pretty not because the light is pointing that that way but just because you feel something in your heart that it's the right pile and i know a few of you have been telling me that you had problems with picking the right pile and i i really think it's the more you do it the more your intuition is gonna develop. But you gotta trust yourself and trust your inner voice to pick the right one. And if it does resonate, it's a confirmation that you did pick the right pile. <laughs> okay, I love you so, so much. I miss you guys. Thank you for all the people who subscribed during the summertime, even though I didn't post anything related to spirituality. And um, yeah, thank you for everyone who commented and letting me know that what I do is helping you because it really means a lot because that's really where my heart is, is this spirituality pro like the whole spirituality and tarot reading thing. That's really what I love to do at the moment. So thank you guys so much. I love you so, so, so much. Don't forget to go vote on Instagram. Hey guys, welcome to this reading. If you hear some weird noises, I'm just gonna let you know ahead. Um, it's because I'm on my bouncy ball. <laughs> so I'm trying to like do my readings a little bit like differently. And I need you guys to tell me if you like them or not. And yeah, that's about it. Let's go straight into it. As you can see, I already put some perfume oil on little pads, so you can either pick visually with like the color of the different oils, or I'm just gonna let you know which one is what, okay? So, I'm so excited and to calm down, I had too much coffee today. All right, okay, pile number one is gonna be white tea and berries. White tea and berries. I gotta let you guys know that those are fragrance oil. They are for candles and bath and body, which means cosmetics. And they come from a website called Candle Science. If anybody's interested, it was from the time that I was selling candles um, on my Etsy shop. <laughs> okay, so pile number two. Sorry, it's a little dusty because they were in a box. Part number two is English Garden. So tea and berries, English Garden, watermelon, green tea and lemongrass, brown sugar and fig. So green tea and berries smells a little bit like a very fancy soap that would kind of smell like um, like yogurt 
English garden is very like florally. It smells a little more. It, it's a bunch of different flowers in there, but I would say that the dominant one would be like Lily of the Valley. Watermelon is just delicious. It smells like watermelon and it's not like artificially, it's, uh, it smells really good. And green tea and lemongrass, it smells like a spa. Brown sugar and fig is like the sweet one. So go ahead and pick your pile. One, two, three, four, five. And let's get into your reading. Part number one, let's see what your crush is hiding from you. Your crush is the person you're just thinking about. If you think that somebody has been shady, what are they hiding from you? Okay. <laughs> When I said your crush, I guess I was just right into it because at least if you don't have a crush on that person, they obviously do. The two of cups is the one card out of the whole tarot that says relationships. So maybe you, because like this is the main card, so like I feel like maybe you, they are trying to hide their feelings for you. Or if they're not hiding really properly their feelings, they're trying to hide the fact that they want to be with you in a relationship. They see is like, I think, somebody they want to be stable with. And I'm pretty convinced that they're doing a lot of thinking about it. But at the same time, I feel like maybe they see themselves as more mature than they might really be in real life. So maybe that's why you never really noticed them before or you never noticed that something was going on. Maybe you did, I don't know. But what I see with the Ace of Pentacles for me is that they want to start like something solid with you and something like you... For them, it would be the beginning of something like stable and durable. Those noises is just Maya rolling on my bed. Um, yeah, it's like there's this really pure energy from this. I can totally tell that they really do a lot of thinking about this with a moon. Maybe overthinking. So you're on their mind a lot. And I think maybe when you see them in person they try to like play it off or brush it off but like the main energy of this reading is the two of cups so it's feelings that they're trying to hide from you pretty obvious so yeah there you go nothing bad really if they've been acting weird just know that that's what it was it was nothing against you it it might even be like if if some of them have been acting like weird or rude towards you, it might have been simply because with this two cup energy, they might be um, overwhelmed a little bit by the connection. And I can, I get that feeling. It's not really in the cards, but I get that feeling of immaturity. Every time I get the Queen of Pentacles out of this deck, I notice that. Um, the person really, really likes animals, is really close to animals, especially cats. So I feel like either you, either that person is really into cats. But the whole deck is about cats, so... <laughs> Here you go that was your reading i hope you enjoyed it and if it resonates don't forget to leave me a comment because i really want to hear your story tell me about that person and how they affect your life and here you go i hope you have a wonderful day don't forget to follow me on instagram so you can vote for the next um reading and what you want to hear as a question or you can suggest um questions on instagram as well or here have a good one File number two, hi. So let's see who the person you're thinking about, oh no, let's see what the person you're thinking about is hiding from you. I 
feel like they might be playing off the fact that they see you as somebody really powerful who can um, pretty much build and achieve success quite easily. But it, I feel like in person, they don't want to give you too much importance. I feel like they've been probably like trying to work hard to reach your level, but it's getting heavy on them. I feel like like they're trying to be they're trying to be more maybe they've been acting a little cranky with you, a little assertive, a little maybe um pretentious to try to hide the fact that they're putting a lot of pressure on themselves to kind of try to reach to your level. If I can tell, I don't know what, what it is about you that they think is really special, but they really do see a lot of, if not success in you, potential. So you might not think that you do have a lot of success or potential, but usually we're not perceived the same way by others as we perceive ourselves and um, that person might see some even if it's nothing special that you have in your life I feel like this person might maybe see some trait of character in you that they admire a lot that they wish they had or it could be that I don't know just something about you a potential maybe there's something about you that, that they find really special and they're, they're really trying really hard to work to reach out that potential. But I feel like they wanna, they kinda wanna, either talk to you about it, either take risks to kinda shortcut this. Let me take a clarifier, just to make sure. Yeah, they see you They see you as somebody that not only does have potential, but you have some kind of like magic. There's something magic about you. It's like everything you touch becomes special. Everything you touch becomes like successful. And you ha it, they feel like you probably have like the aura of a star or something. And they feel like for how much risk they would take, work they would put in, and you know, assertivity or power they would show off, they would never compare to you. So I feel like this person really think extremely highly of you and maybe they're intimidated by you. I cannot really tell by those cards if it is romantic or not, but for some of you, it might totally be. Because I wanna say, if I see somebody in that perspective, it would be really hard for me to not develop that type of feelings if it's like, if it's like adapted to that situation. To your particular situation i feel like a lot of people are going to pick this pile and so it really depends on each of you but just know that if you were if you were wondering if that person were hiding something that you should know about because their character is a little changing a little fluctuating it's not because they're hiding something it's not because they're shady it's because they're trying to kind of like impress you or reach out to your level so i think they're totally harmless and you should just try to make them feel better about themselves so they wouldn't put so much pressure on themselves try to help them maybe 
see the star within them and not just within you. Um, please let me know if this reading resonated for you and if you know that person well, if you can confirm it maybe, or if you come back in the future and let me know, please leave me a thumbs up. And don't forget to reach me on Instagram where I'll be posting the polls where you can pick the topic of the next video. Or if you have suggestions, you can put them in the, in the YouTube comment section. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Pile number three, watermelon. Watermelon. Let's see. What is that person you're thinking about hiding from you? <laughs> Look at that. I think they see you as <laughs> they see you as somebody they want to be with. They see you as somebody that's either their twin flame or soulmate or at least somebody they want to be around or be with in a relationship. I feel like in this reading, because I know the lovers can mean a lot of other things, but in this reading, I think it's pretty clear that what they're hiding from you is feelings, like romantic feelings. So, yeah, let, let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. You have the Four of Pentacles, and I feel like the reason they're hiding their feelings is because they don't feel like they're good enough for you, or maybe yeah, no, I just really feel like they're scared. They're scared of not being good enough for you or... Or that it's just not, it's not just, it's just not gonna be enough what they... Like the way they will approach you will not be enough. Or maybe they don't have enough money to impress you. But I also I also see that they totally want to like take a leap of faith and come towards you. I think they're thinking about it quite much because they're kind of torn in between those two energies. And I also feel like maybe what's holding them back from telling you is that they feel like it would it would be too much of an adventure. I feel like they're 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 willing to go through. This is how much they love you. They're willing to go through like the shit they would have to go through to get to you. See, they would be willing to fight your demons, the dragon, to get to the princess. And I'm saying that it doesn't have to be a male and you don't have to be a princess, you know? But I feel like they're really... And even... There might even be a situation where their friends are telling them, like, maybe it's not worth it. Like, what are you doing? But deep down, I feel like they know you're kind of, like, linked somehow. I keep on seeing like twin flames because usually the lover card is, is represented by twins and it's just I feel like there's a lot going on in this situation and I feel like I feel like you've been known knowing that person for a while and if you haven't they've seen I feel like they've seen your demons they know what they're getting themselves into and they don't know if they have what it takes to fight that dragon, to to make fix, things happen, to fix. Maybe there's, maybe it's not something within you. Maybe it's a situation. But I feel like there's something complicated in between you guys, either a situation, either your characters. Like one of you maybe have some growth to do. But I also see that their best energy, not only just the love, but they do have this three of wands, which make me feel like they really want to like go for it. 
there's definitely stuff holding them back. I think they're doing a lot of thinking and that might be why they're hiding it. I think you, you, some of you guys have complicated situations. Here you go. Let me know if that resonates. Um, if you think that person has romantic feelings towards you. And if you do, leave me a comment down below. Leave me a thumbs up and join me on Instagram so you can participate into the polls that I'm going to be posting for knowing um, which questions you want to know in the next Pick a Card reading. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a good one. I love you. File number four, whoever picked green tea and lemongrass. Oh, the spa one. So, what is the person you're thinking about hiding? What are they hiding? I feel like they're hiding a lot of feelings. Like they have a lot of feels. And I feel like it's the type of feelings that feel like long lasting. Because the Queen of Cups is often represented as a grandmother sometimes. Um, you have so many like water symbols. It's really like the Queen of Cups, you know. Um, person could be a Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio. But mostly Pisces. That's what I see here. I feel like there's a lot of emotions going on. Maybe overwhelming, but I also feel like it's it's something like they don't see those feelings going away soon. Whatever it might be, this connection, they don't see it going away soon. But somehow that's the that's the thing that they're hiding. So I don't know why they're hiding like their emotions like that. Knight of Swords is like, this is like Prince Charming energy, you know? It's someone who's like straightforward to the point of being obnoxious, if that resonates. Knight in Charming, Knight in Charming Yarmir, but it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be a male or somebody who identifies as a male, but I feel like this is a masculine energy for sure like divine masculine um ten of pentacles i feel like like it that's exactly what i was saying with the queen of cups they want to build something very long lasting so i do believe that if they are not romantically well that's the knight in chinese armor so if they are not romantically interested in you if they are romantically interested in you and they're and that's what they're hiding just know that they're serious and that they want something long lasting if it's not romantic and if it's like a family member or a friendship or somebody you just don't view like that it's somebody who wants to protect you somebody who wants to have you around and really take care of you yeah, the emperor is also a very protective person. So he's the protector. The queen of cups is, like I said, like grandma energy, you know? Like emotionally taking care. So I think they want to take care of you. You kind of have a... Um, like a gourd dog, you know? They want to take care of you emotionally financially maybe um or at least be there for you if anything ever goes down or maybe they want to they want you to live under their roof and they want to protect you in that way if it's like a family member they want to be able to be there for you no matter what you need and they want to make sure that nobody is gonna be causing you any trouble You go let me know if that resonates if you recognize that person in this reading and if so please leave me a comment down below leave me a thumbs up for this reading um 
join me on Instagram to participate into those polls that I'm gonna be doing to know which um yeah which topic you want to hear next like which question you want to hear next for the next pick a card and hmm did I forget something no that's it have a good one I <laughs> hope you enjoyed I love you very much the last group number five whoever picked the brown sugar and fig um let's see what your person is hiding from you oh that's very similar to another one i had which one was it i think it was number two so if you did pick uh both number two and number five or if you hesitated go watch the second one because that was the same energy that person put you on a pedestal and they see you like somebody who has an enormous potential um i feel like they see you as somebody that's either successful or special or almost out of worldly special but somehow they're like not too sure what direction to take with you and I feel like they want to walk away from you. And I don't know if this is like a friendship or romantic or something. But this person I feel like feels very inferior to you. And they love you so much. And I feel like they're very inspired by you. And them, like maybe you don't look at them. And so they kind of want to go away. Or maybe it's just in their head and they compare themselves to you so much that they, they just, I don't know, they just don't feel good enough. They just feel like they don't have what it takes to be at your level. And so they feel like they should either go towards you or go away from you, but make a decision and just go there quick. I feel like they just judge themselves too harshly because there's nothing wrong with them. Um, but I also feel like they think that you're some kind of gift from the universe and you're very, like a gift to humanity. That's what I'm hearing. And I feel like that's kind of like, they really put you on this pedestal. They find you so special that I feel like they feel completely lost around you like almost i hear they don't even know who they are anymore when they're around you because seeing you disturbs them so much which makes me think that this could be some kind of like soulmate energy but yeah they're not hiding something too shady they might be hiding the fact that maybe they have financial issues but i feel like they're moving away if that's the case they're moving away from that energy but i really think that it has nothing to do with that and that's really like the way they see you they probably like try to play it off when they're around you they're just like look unimpressed by everything you do or say but deep down they're so impressed by you. They find you so special. Here you go. If you resonated uh, with this reading, if this reading resonated, um, please leave me a comment. Uh, tell me what you think about it. Leave me a thumbs up. And yeah, you can join me on Instagram, participate into the polls that are going to be for picking the next question that you want to hear. And I hope you have a great one and I love you very much.